Hi and welcome to another episode of Alita's Designs and Fresh Folds. Um, I've had some interest in this um, fuchsia card and I had an email from a lady called Cindy. Hi Cindy. Um, and she was wondering how she could uh, give this um, card to someone without putting it in a normal envelope but um, you know I guess trying to keep it dressed up as well for a birthday gift and um, I've had a little play with um, an idea which I hope can work for you and other people so um, let's just give that a go today now I'm just using a normal size um, A4 card stock here this is um, oh this is craft card stock which will soon be crumb cake cardstock and what I want you to do is score it at one inch okay, and flip it over and score it at one inch on this side okay then put it um, this way <laughs> I was going to say horizontal yeah horizontal sorry and um, mark it at two inches three inches seven and a half and eight and a half all right now go ahead and fold all those lines score lines now this I don't think this would be suitable to post but if you wanted to actually give it to someone um, you know without as a little gift like box that's my intention for this I don't think it would be sturdy enough to put through the post that's what post packs are for okay so once you've got all those creased well then you need to just snip um, each of these little sections here to the one inch mark And it's going to give you an envelope really, but a little box type envelope. Okay, so once you've done that, the way the box gets folded up is that you'll tuck these little flaps in. Okay, and you'll put some tape on those little flaps. Bring that forward. Okay, and that will go like that and then stick those sides down and just leave all these flaps unstuck don't put any any um, adhesive on there but they will actually get tucked in inwards and then these larger flaps here will get tucked in outwards like that okay and that'll be like an envelope box so I'll be back in a sec after I've decorated it Okay, so I've ran across the front here, which will be when it's folded up, it'll, it'll sit that way, which is the larger section of these two flaps. I've ran that uh, with my jumbo wheel, the very vintage uh, wheel in soft suede ink. Okay, because I want it to match, um, match my card here. It's the same what I've done on there. Right, and then I have... Um, I've cut a piece of elegant eggplant that matches my card as well and also um, I've punched a scallop border and that's going to sit here on my on my box front so I'll just quickly put that together for you that I just want to keep it fairly basic because I only um, decorated the card fairly basic um, and that's how I want the, the box to be as well. Now you need to put um, sticky strip on these parts of these little flaps here and then on the inside on these um, flaps here. Okay so I'll just take all that off and we'll assemble the box. Okay so these flaps then will get stuck can see in camera onto there okay and this one onto there okay and take off the sticky strip on these parts too and get it off all 
Okay, and then close your box up like that. Okay, so that's your box all done. Don't put any adhesive on here like I said before. Okay, so now to close it, I'm going to put my card in here and you can see that fits really nicely in there. The flower isn't squashed. Okay, so put these flaps inwards to close it. And then as you pull it down, these flaps will just sit outside. Now I could um, I could run over that a little bit with this to make that match in. That might look good, but I might do that later. Now I had run out of the same coloured ribbon that I used for the card, which was a bit of a spew, but um, look, I can fix that up later. And just to keep the box closed, because I haven't used any sort of mechanism or anything to um, keep it closed, we're just going to keep it closed with the ribbon. I think that will look really nice and simple and, and elegant. Just tie a ribbon like that. And um, that's done. I hope, um, Cindy, this helps you um, in an idea to, um, to send your card to your friend. And um, you can use it for other ideas too. Okay, see ya.